Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today I'm just working on the 3060 rig. So about once a day, uh, this one card will drop down about 30 mega hash, a little more than 30 mega hash. And uh, it's down for about, you know, well, as long as I can remember to go back and reboot it. It started about a week ago and I just haven't gotten to it. So I thought I'd try and get that straightened out today. Uh, so really um, the board itself has six slots and then it has two M.2 slots. One of them doesn't work because of the generation uh, CPU that I have on the board. Uh, the CPU generation uh, that I have on it is, I think, is a 10, and it uh, will support one of the M.2. If it was an 11, it would support both of the M.2. So I only have seven total slots on the board. So I do have a splitter on there that I have two GPUs going into to make up for that. So it didn't work out the way I wanted. I really didn't want to use those splitters. I wanted to get away from that. Uh, but here we are. So it's this one right here, and uh, it's got to be on either that splitter or it's going to be on the uh, board itself. I'm going to say it's on the splitter just because you have B, C, and D. And one of these is going to be the USB on the board and the other two are going to be on that splitter. So uh, either these two may be on the splitter and that's on the board. Uh, if you got the two B and C because they're just the closest to each other. Uh, or perhaps it's C and D is on the splitter and B is solo on the board. Uh, one of these three, I don't think it would be B and D on that splitter, probably have it in order. So probably these two or these two are on that splitter. So I will assume that the one that's broken or the one that's having trouble is on that splitter. Maybe it's the splitter itself. So I'm going to go ahead and move these around a little bit and see what we can come up with. I'm just going to shut this down and I'm going to go pull that rig and start swapping them around. We'll see where we're at. I'll be right back. Well, it's back up and it's running good. Now, something that definitely caught my eye was that we're still B, C, and D. And what I did was I left the USB on that M.2 where it was. And all I did was move one of the USBs uh, to the other side of that splitter. So we're gonna see if it's uh, just that one slot or not. The thing that I did see is that B, C, and D are still listed. Even though I did move one of those GPUs to another slot on that splitter, I thought it would give me that um, uh, which one of those it was in a b c or d but it doesn't seem like it even changed so uh i'm not sure which one of the three that i would have moved uh, i did move one of them from that splitter into another slot we're going to give that a shot it's just going to be a process of elimination if that one still has the problem then perhaps it's one of the other two that are left and i'll move those around as well but for now that's where we're at uh, the next project I'm going to work on probably just this afternoon is going to be my, uh, and that'll be coming up probably tomorrow, I'll have that out, is this one right here. So 3060 Ti rig, and this one card right here is doing horribly, uh, and that's uh, obviously it's a lot lower than the other ones, but that's because the temperatures jump up so high, so I had to lower it down uh, quite a bit, 20 mega hash on that one. And the reason for that, doing that the way it is, is because this five uh, GPU rig that's over there used to only have the four, now it's got that A4000 also. They exhaust right into where that 3060 Ti rig is and that first card is just sucking up all of that hot air and it's getting no relief. So I need to figure something uh, to help that out. So that's the next one. We'll get into it right now because this is about the 3060 rig. We are just gonna go ahead and watch that and see where that ends up. So uh, we'll see, it was that one, but like I said, I did just move one of these three. So we are gonna find out real soon. So I'll be back with that. So it's up and running and everything looks great. And this is typically how it works out. Everything looks great for a while. And then, you know, uh, about a day, it'll knock itself out. So I'll just have to watch this and see. Now I did move one of the uh, USBs from the splitter, I moved it to one of the other connections. So I didn't want to move too much at first. So I left the USB on that M.2 connected. And then the only thing I moved was one of the USBs on that splitter. It's got four slots on it to pick from. So the only concern I had was that I thought that when that slot was in there, A, B, C, and D would have been listed for the three slots or some designation. But it looks like B, C, and D are still all the same that they were before. And I know I moved one of them to another slot. So obviously that's not the case. So I'm curious how you figure out which one of these is the one. Um, 
so I'm not exactly sure. So uh, we are going to have to work with those three and figure it out because it's got to be these three uh, because of those different connections than, let's say, these right here on the board. So uh, I'm going to mess with it a little bit. We're going to find out, and I'll be back a little later on with an update and see if that fixed it. All right, so it's all back up, and it's running smooth, and that's how it normally looks, uh, running around 49. Um, that usually runs at 49 also, I'll have a 49 and, and change. So it's running pretty smooth. Uh, the only concern I have is that none of these letters changed, even though I did swap one of the GPUs. It's still B, C, and D. Now, I do have that one M.2 slot with the USB on it, and I left that one alone. The only one that I uh, changed was one of the USBs I plugged into a different slot on that uh, uh, four splitter. So I'm going to see it's really going to have to come down to that, moving one at a time and seeing if I'm still getting the error. So uh, I did think that it was A, B, C, and D on that splitter, but it doesn't show that designation here. It's still all the same. So obviously when I moved it, it should have changed it here and it didn't. So I'm curious about that. I'm going to have to figure that out. And uh, well, it looks like GPU zero went down. So I went ahead and shut it down and I'm trying a different configuration. Uh, obviously that one uh, shouldn't have had any influence over what I did, but that's seemingly how things go around here. You know, you change uh, uh, a light bulb and, uh, you know, the exhaust fan stops working or some, <laughs> some nonsense like that. So, you know, uh, I got it shut down now. It's rebooting. So we'll, um, we'll see when that's coming up here in a second. And I'll start checking that to see if it's, uh, all right. Did that come up yet? Or is that what it's reporting? Yeah. Okay, so that's not good. So we're missing several now. <laughs> yep, so I'll be back. We're going to keep on trying different things here and see which one of those slots is the bad slot. If there is one, or maybe it's the GPU, but we're going to we're gonna figure it out. Well, it's up and running, and I had to move some stuff around. And while I was doing that, I noticed that, you know, when I painted last week, I did have to move everything around in here. And I don't know if it happened then or not, but there was the the power uh, connector was just was slightly off. I mean, you know, it was slightly off and that could have been it right there. You know, I've, I've been moving things around and uh, just checking different connections. And I went back and I started looking real close and I saw one of them was tilted just a little bit. And that may have been the culprit. Um, but we're going to find out because it is, it's running now and it's, uh, it's running pretty good. Uh, everything is 49s, 49 and a half almost. So, you know, 50 is a, is a good number for this. Um, you know, I could push it up and, and, you know, eat up a, a little bit more power. But uh, when I started doing the numbers, the math on it, it really didn't seem like, you know, uh, the extra wattage were going to be worth just, you know, for the, the namesake of having at 50 mega ash. Uh, for me, didn't seem like it was the one. So anyway, again, I'm going to have to let this run for a while. We're going to see. Sometimes it takes a full day, sometimes a little less. Uh, but we're going to uh, just click refresh and see if it happens while we're talking. Uh, this one is a little low. And it is using full power. It's a little bit... Um, I might just throw that up to, uh, oops, <laughs> yeah, all right, let's give it just a little bit more and see if we can squeeze that extra out of that. I don't even know if to see if that's going to be worth it either, but that just may be the silicon lottery, you know how that works. Uh, not everything is perfect, so uh, we'll just clear that so it's easier to see later on. So anyway, I'll uh, be back and we're going to check this out and see if that was the problem. God, how stupid. I mean, you know, here I am getting into checking all of these different wires and all these different connections uh, and thinking that it's something on the board or it's maybe a riser. Maybe it's a wire. Maybe it's this or that. Or maybe it's just me being careless uh, when I move that rig and I must have bumped a wire and didn't go back and check everything. Uh, you know, go over it with a fine tooth comb and just make sure everything was perfect. And I thought I did clearly that I didn't because that was a little uh, off. So that may have been the problem, but we're going to find out in a little bit. So I'm going to keep checking this and start on another project I got with the 3060 Ti rig. So 
that's next. All right, but I'll be back for this one just a little bit to give you an update and see where we ended up. All right, so found it again right here, and it's only been about 30 minutes, so we're still back where we were, uh, same same thing, but instead this time I only have two on the splitters uh, on here, so I will be able to hopefully find this one a little bit more easily right there. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab that. Maybe I'll throw that over on the test bench. I've only used this a couple times, so uh, it'll get a little more usage out of it. I just uh, haven't had to test much lately, so it's been sitting kind of quiet. And here we go. We'll go ahead and probably get that one over there and start checking out that one particular GPU and see what the problem is. So I'll be back with some, uh, some results on that one. All right, well, it's been several hours, and I finally figured uh, out which one it was, uh, the in particular one, and I uh, took it off the lineup. So you only see I have seven GPUs listed in here right now. That one is off, as you can see, all of my starts and restarts here for a while and uh, all the problems I was having. So it is uh, running. It's been going for, let's see, two hours and seven minutes. So it's been going for a little while now and it's been stable so we're going to let this run until this evening and see if i get that error at all for any of these and then i will start looking at that gpu in particular um i'm gonna uh, like i said i'm gonna probably throw it up here on the test bed i'm gonna try a new riser new usb uh everything new the new uh, uh pcie uh, 1x uh, connector to the motherboard i will uh, do everything i'll even do a different um uh, power cable to the uh uh, power supply, the HP power supply that I'm using. So I will replace all of those things and try it and see what happens. Uh, but hopefully I won't have to uh, go beyond that and it's not the actual GPU itself because that would suck. I'd really hate to have one down. It will be my first that's completely down. And uh, these are brand new. I mean, relatively speaking, you know, I bought these brand new just a couple months ago. So in the scheme, you know, grand scheme of things, it is brand new. Uh, but uh, we will find out. So I'll check back in later on tonight and we'll see how this is running and I'll have a couple of tests done on the other one and see if we get any uh, better results. So back a little later on. So we're still getting the same error and I found one card that was uh, consistently going out. So I, I unplugged it and I let the rest of the rig run. I let it run for, went for about six hours. And I was super excited. I was like, okay, I figured that out. And then of course that, uh, one of the other cards did the same thing. So uh, I unplugged that one. I let it run for a while. So now I was down to six cards. I let it run for a while. And then that one went out as well. One of the other ones went out as well. Same error. So it seems to be something that's rolling throughout. It doesn't seem to be a specific thing. At first, I thought it was the um, uh, PCIe uh, 1X a connector that goes to the motherboard. I thought that was actually it. And I was like, wow, what an amazing find to figure it out that it was that one thing. Uh, because when I replaced that on one of them, I all of a sudden had that great run for a while and it didn't seem to matter. So what I'm doing is I'm, I went ahead and I took the flash drive out. Uh, I got another one and I just uh, had installed it last night in anticipation that I may need it. So uh, it's the next morning, fell asleep in these clothes. So I just woke up like a couple minutes ago and I immediately wanted to get on this thing. So uh, sorry for being a bum, but here we are. So anyway, so I went ahead and I uh, am installing the new drivers uh, on here and it is working on it right now. So uh, that's it. Let's see. So it un it installed, uninstalled the old ones, and now it's finishing up. So anyway, I'm going to let this run now for uh, a little while and see how long it takes before I get that error, or maybe if this fixed it. Um, strangely enough, when I moved the grow tent, when I painted the other week, I was having trouble with the 3060 Ti rig as well, and it kept on giving me problems. I uh, didn't know what I had done. I simply moved it all over and then moved it all back. Didn't do anything else. And, you know, just problem after problem. So I just put a fresh copy of Hive on there and uh, it was fine. So maybe a fresh copy of Hive over here will uh, help things out, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to let this run, like I said, for a couple hours. It's just going to finish doing its thing right now. Uh, it's taking care of the drivers. Once this is done, then I will, uh, I'll be back with, uh, with an update and we'll see if we've gotten any further. 
All right, y'all, so we're back up and running. As you can see, everything's been going strong for about eight hours now. This was last night. I shut it down. It was just pumping out so much heat into the crypto mining exercise room cave uh, that it would have been more of a headache to let that run overnight, pushing all that heat into the house uh, than it was just to shut it down. So I just shut it down. If you know my situation, you would have shut it down too. In the morning, I messed around with it a little bit, but overall at the end, what was it? I installed another copy of Hive on another USB drive that I had and... Uh, I haven't had any problems since. Uh, now it's been only been eight hours and I did say in the beginning of this video that sometimes it takes an hour or two, sometimes it takes 20 hours before it'll happen. So uh, what I found was that when I had unplugged the one card that I thought it was, it then happened on another card and I thought, okay, maybe I just got it confused and I pulled the wrong one. So I pulled that one as well. A little while later, it happened on another card and excuse me, just had a sub. And I figured that, you know what, maybe this is a software issue and it's not a hardware issue. And that's when I went ahead and I installed Hive. Now I just used Etcher, it took me about 10 minutes to uh, flash Etcher, uh, using Etcher to flash Hive onto this drive. And then all you have to do, the simplest thing in the world, you simply click on settings. I'm not gonna do it because it'll show all my personal stuff, but you click on settings and then probably right around in this area, there'll be uh, a rig.conf. You simply click on that, it'll download it to your downloads folder or wherever you have your downloads going to. You copy that drop it onto your USB drive and plug it in. And that's it, super easy. It takes about 10 minutes to install uh, a Hive on here using Etcher, it takes about 10 seconds to go ahead and drop that file onto here and you're in good shape. Um, ultimately, it seems that that would have been the problem. Uh, next time, maybe I'll just start with that and just immediately go straight for a fresh copy of Hive uh, and, and start from there. At least I know that that portion of it will be 100% good. And then I can move forward into hardware. Whereas I started in hardware and it could have been software also where the software fix is a very easy fix. So I may put a video out on that. I may go from uh, start to finish uh, with a USB drive and uh, do the whole Hive thing with Etcher and uh, show you how to do that as well if someone's new getting into this. But ultimately that was really it. So um, I uh, went ahead and I updated my drivers on here. As you can see, I use driver version 510.68.02. I use the same ones on my 3060 Ti rig. Uh, both rigs are LHR, 3060 LHR and 3060 Ti LHR. And they both run really well on 510.68.2. So uh, just for reference, and, uh, and that's just about it, y'all. So it, it took a little bit to get to this point. I'm happy I'm here. I'm happy it's cooling down in this room. And I'll be even happier if you throw me a couple thumbs up on this video, you know? It really means a lot when you give me a thumbs up on a video. I always appreciate people subscribing. And of course, you can hit that button. It's gonna be over there. But the thumbs up uh, really helped my channel a lot. So I appreciate all the thumbs up. And uh, of course, if you wanna watch me uh, updating the uh, drivers for Hive, I'll put a link at the end of the video right up there. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you all next time.